Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing a holiday look, something that you can wear uh, when you're out shopping for Christmas gifts. If you're going somewhere at night like a Christmas party, this will be the perfect look. It's something that you should have a lot of colors of, even if it's not the same brand that I have, you should have similar shades. Um, I'm really excited about this look. I think it's very pretty and very feminine. Um, I used three different shimmery shades on my eyelids and you definitely don't have to do that. That's doing the most. But I personally think it looks really nice. If you want to learn how to get this look, then just keep watching. Okay, jumping right in. I'm going to start with my face. I have already moisturized. So since I've already moisturized, I like to do this right before I do my foundation because it makes such a difference in the way that it wears all day. It makes it go on a lot smoother and less patchy. So I am using today the YSL Fusion Ink Foundation. It looks like this. Um, I bought mine from Sephora online and I'm in the shade B30 and that's Almond. I had to take a guess online when I purchased it and I was pretty spot on for my color when I'm not tan, which is clearly now. I really love it. It goes on like almost like a powder foundation but it's liquid. Um, the only thing I hate about it is this buildup right here. like. Ew. I hate that. I just do it like this. It's probably not the most sanitary way, but nobody else uses this besides me, so. I just dot it all over my face until it's covered. This is not a super full coverage foundation, which is fine. It's kind of what I'm going for. Um, is more of a natural skin tone. You're probably like, natural? Where? I'm going to take my Sigma Flat Kabuki brush. It's the F80. Yeah. You can use a primer if you choose. But this is the one that I use. I use the Advance, Advance, Advance A, Flawless Effect Skin Care Mattifying Emulsion. There's so many words on this, I really don't honestly know the name of it. It could be four of the five things on here. I'm just patting this on. Focus on making sure that you're covering every inch of your face, like right here in between your eyes, like in between your eye and your nose, I guess, to the corner of your eye. It's kind of hard to get with a brush like this. And then like right here in your top lip. Next, I'm going to move on to concealer, and I'm using the Naked Skin Concealer. It's in the shade Fair Neutral. Now, this is usually too light for me if I had a tan, but I am so pale that this is the perfect highlighting shade for under my eyes. So that's what I'm using it for. I'm going to put it all under my eyes like this in a triangle form. I'm going to put it here on my chin, on my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, and a little bit here. I tend to get red right here around my nose hormonally. So um, I just kind of put a little bit there because I don't want it to be super highlight it but I do want it to cover up so now I'm taking a damp beauty blender and I'm just going to blend all of this out the one step that you never want to forget is setting your concealer with a powder because otherwise it's going to move throughout the day and it start creasing under your eye or else it's kind of pointless to use a concealer because after a while it just goes away. My MAC Emphasize right here, it's just like this right here. So I just take some of this and set that whole eye area. What I've been doing recently is taking the CoverGirl translucent powder and just lightly dusting it all over my face with this large powder brush. So I'm just going to get a little bit. and It picks up a lot. If you have a loose powder, it picks up a lot. So you just... And I just kind of pat it all over my face. The reason that I have been doing this lately is because I noticed such a difference when I was trying to contour and blend in my powder contour. I have been going for this bronzer a lot lately. This is the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder. Um, and I'm almost out. You can tell how much I love it. And this is in the shade Sunny. I think I got mine at Walgreens. I'm pretty sure that's where I bought mine. So I'm just using my NARS Eda brush. Um, and getting some of this bronzer on it and you're going to focus most of it on the back side closer to your ear. And 
and then bring it forward. And also, don't forget to contour your forehead because you don't want to have these carved out cheekbones and then nothing here and here. So we're going to take some of that right here and just blend that out close to the hairline so that you don't have any white line of demarcation right here. And then same on the other side. For blush, I'm going to use MAC Gingerly. This is one of my go-to blushes. It's such a brown, it's like a brownish red blush that just blends very nicely with your bronzer. And for the highlight shade, of course, I am using Becca Cosmetics Champagne Pop. This is the collaboration highlight that Jaclyn Hill made with Becca Cosmetics, and I can't get enough. I'm ready to die for Jaclyn Hill, always. So I'm just using this. This is actually an eyeshadow blending brush, but I always use it for my highlight. I just think it's perfect for getting the tops of your cheeks. And it's the E40. And I'm just going to, I mean, I honestly am obsessed with, like, bright highlights, so... That's what we're doing here today. If your face isn't glowing, what is it doing? I mean, putting it on my cupid's bow and also on the tip of my nose and kind of over here on the bridge. You don't have to do your whole bridge of your nose. And then I like to do a little bit on my chin. It's optional. But since I have powder on my face, it tends to make my face just feel dry, like it sucked all the life out of it because I have powders on my face. But in the winter, I like to use powders because like, I like matte looks in the winter and fall. That's just me. I am going to take my MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus spray um, and spray it on my face. This is kind of going to mesh the powder with the liquid foundation with my face um, and make it look a little bit glowy, not too much, but it's also going to keep it on a little bit better and make it look a little bit like more lively. And then it's wet, so you have to do this. I'm going to jump into eyebrows and it's never that fun to watch. Um, if you guys want a detailed eyebrow tutorial, let me know and I will definitely post that. Just like that. And that's one eyebrow and I'm going to fast forward through the next one. Moving on to eyeshadow, which is my favorite part. And I'm going to do something <clears throat> a little festive because uh, it's almost Christmas. so. Let's do a holiday eye, right? First, I'm going to take my MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly. So I'm just going to put it on my eyelid with my finger. And after we're done with this step, we're going in with our first shade, and it's going to be a shade that is close to my skin tone, but maybe a little bit lighter or brighter to make the color that's going on top pop and also to blend out easier. Well, yeah, it's an orange shade. It's a very pastel, like, sherbet-looking orange, um, but it does make your eyes look a little bit brighter. So I'm just going to sweep it across the crease area and also down onto the lid. This will be a good transition color for the rest of the colors we're going to be using today. And after that, I'm going to use a little more concentrated brush. It's a little smaller, but it is still fluffy and it's perfect for blending. This is the, oh crap, it really, okay, I can still barely see it. It's the Morphe M433. I absolutely love this brush. Like, I could not blend without it. It gets right in the crease, like, perfectly without sweeping it all over your rest of your um, eyebrow bone. Like, this one is um, not as concentrated, so this is really for a color that you really want to blow out on your whole entire eye area. I am going to go into my Morphe 350 palette and grab these two colors right here that look like they're basically the same making sure that we're blending it out very nicely and seamlessly this is going to be the perfect transition shade for the other colors we're about to use 
Okay, and the color I'm really gonna concentrate in my crease next is going to be this color right here. It's a very warm brown, so I'm kind of just going to concentrate it right here in my crease area. Okay, and the next shade I'm gonna grab is this earthy red right here and concentrate that also in the crease. I've just no product on the brush, just gonna go back and blend it all out. I'm just gonna sweep back and forth. Okay, and now that we have all of that blended out, I am going to take a color in my outer corner that is a little bit darker. I wanna kind of smoke this look out uh, without making it too smoky because I want it to be something you can wear during the day. It's something that you can kind of wear um, really whenever. So I am going to take, I really love this shade brown right here. It's very warm brown. So I took a pencil brush by Sigma, this is the E30 pencil brush, and I'm going to concentrate this color very close to my outer corner, okay? Then going back with the Morphe 433, I am going to just, nothing on my brush again, just going to blend that out a little bit. Make sure that you brush off the fallout. Again, going back with the E40, I'm going to blend all of this back out. I'm barely touching my eye with this brush because I don't want to diffuse it so much that you can't see it anymore. Um, so I'm really just barely touching my eye with this. And the next step, I still haven't decided if I want to do like a really light like this color it's like a very light champagne shiny eyeshadow and then down here is like a cranberry it's really yeah oh. I'm just gonna go out a limb and we're gonna do all three we're gonna see how this turns out so first I'm gonna take a flat shader brush this is really technically a concealer brush but it's perfect for um, shimmery eyeshadows. I'll show you how I use it. Um, and I'm taking my MAC Fix Plus and I'm going to barely spray it. Like if I just kind of barely touch it, it will drip on there, which is kind of what I want. Only do this if you are using shimmery eyeshadows, otherwise you'll ruin it. So I'm going to take the darkest of the three shimmery shades that I showed you. So it's gonna be this one. I'm gonna be using this one and also this pretty gold or that gold, I'm not sure yet. I'm taking this one first. When you spray your brush with the MAC Fix Plus and you dip it into the shimmery eyeshadow, it kind of comes off like um, like mud. So I'm going to focus this on the outside of my eye, from the middle, from the middle of my eye, and then down. And you really can just like paint it on. It kind of turns into like a paint almost, to be honest. And don't try to blend this color while it's still wet. It won't work. You can see how foiled it looks when I put the MAC Fix Plus on the brush. Um, rather than just using a dry brush or my finger, it really makes it a little more glimmery. And you'll be able to feel when it's dry on your eyes. Like right now when I do like this, it doesn't stick to my eyelid and my upper crease. So I'm going to take this brush, there's nothing on it, and I'm going to just blend it out a little bit. Now don't take your brush too hard on the shimmery eyeshadow because you will make it not intense enough. And next, I'm going to take the same brush, but I am going to wipe it off. I'm going to have all kind of colors on the back of my hand. I'm going to spray it again. I'm going to pick up this gold color right here. And I'm going to pop it on the center of my eyelid. And lastly, I'm going to spray it again because I'm using all shimmery shades today. And I'm taking this very foiled looking like champagne pink color. I guess you could see it now. So I'm gonna get this on my brush and it's gonna go in that empty space in my inner corner. And I'm also gonna use the same shade as an inner corner highlight. Okay, 
put it on my outer corner, I feel like I want it to be a little bit darker than it is. So it's like right here. And using just a flat shader brush with nothing on it, I'm going to go in and blend these shimmery colors. You don't want to take like a brush and push too hard on it because it won't make it look seamless. It will just smear all the colors together. And I'm going to take this brush that I used for my under eye setting powder and just wipe away any fallout that we have from these shadows. That's the only thing about using glittery shadows is that they fall out on your face. But as long as you set your under eye with a powder, you should be able to just wipe it away. So moving down to the under eye area, I am going to clean off my pencil brush. Make sure that there's no dark product on it. First, I'm going to take this color that we used as our crease color, this camely brown color, and sweep that all underneath my eye. This you can really diffuse as far down as you want. I like to take mine pretty far down, but that's because I like a more intense smoky eye. It's totally up to you. And next I am going to take this muddy red color, just like we used also in our crease on top of the camel color. We're basically repeating everything we did in the crease area down underneath our eye. So I didn't use a transition color under my eye, I just don't feel like it's necessary. So I did take that um, first uh, warm toned brown color and put it there and now I'm going to take the earthy red tone and put it over top of that. I'm taking this clean crease brush and kind of just diffusing all this out underneath my eye a little bit more. Um, Sigma E15 flat definer brush. It looks like this. And I'm going to take that brown, dark brown color that we used in the crease right here and pack it on my lash line. I switched to a pencil brush because I think that I want it to be a little bit darker under there. Okay, and to make it bolder, I'm going to take a black eyeliner, but I got it also in an, MC, in an Ipsy bag. And I'm going to put this all in my waterline and um, on my lash line. Okay, and with the same pencil brush, I'm just going to blend it down. I was thinking about doing a wing, but we already have so much going on with these shimmery shades that we used on our eye, and I actually kind of like the way that it looks without them. So I'm going to curl my lashes, put mascara on them, apply my lashes, and I will be right um, back. I was going to show you the lashes that I'm going to use. They are by House of Lashes. They look like this, and they're in the style Bambi. Um, these actually I love because they're very long, but they're also spaced out, which I personally like in an eyelash. And they also have little brown eyelashes. You won't be able to see it from here, but they do have little brown eyelashes mixed in with them. And I love that too. It just kind of brings another dimension to your um, eyelashes. I think the neighbor kid just threw a ball and it hit my car and I will go strangle him. Okay, now that I have my eyelashes on, the only thing left that we have to do is lips. So the lip color I'm going to be using today is by Kathleen Lights. It is in her shade Miami Fever. I love this lipstick. The only downside that I've noticed about it is that it kind of gets all over everything. Like when I'm eating, I will have it on my hands and it smears on my, like, it's hard. It's just kind of hard to work with, so you got to be really careful with it. But I love the shade, which is why I'm using it. And first I'm going to line my lips with MAC Auburn. It's kind of a burnt orange shade. Very similar but a little bit darker to Kathleen Light's Miami Fever, and I'm just gonna line my lips real fast. Now I'm gonna go in with Miami Fever, 
and not look ridiculous anymore. And that is the completed look.